Babcock has officially kicked off preparatory efforts for the SSN AUKUS nuclear-powered attack submarine program, signalling one of Britain's first tangible industrial steps in the ambitious trilateral agreement between the UK, Australia, and the US. The initiative was highlighted in Babcock's financial disclosures for the fiscal year ending March 2025. Among the developments, the company's Mission Systems Division landed two critical contracts, including one authorizing the procurement of initial components for a next-generation weapon handling and launch system. This forms part of Babcock's expanding role in underwater defense, which already includes its contributions to the Astute and Dreadnought-class submarines, and missile compartment fabrication for both British and American deterrent fleets. The SSN AUKUS submarines are designed to be cutting-edge, displacing over 10,000 tons and powered by Rolls-Royce's latest PWR-3 nuclear reactor. They will use a turboelectric propulsion system and feature advanced X-form rudder configurations to enhance agility underwater. The vessel will serve as the UK's successor to the Astute class from the late 2030s and mark Australia's first foray into operating nuclear-powered but conventionally armed attack submarines. Based on the SSN, R, platform, the design incorporates advances first conceived under the 2018 Maritime Underwater Future Capability, MUFC, effort and has since evolved into a fully integrated trilateral development under the AUKUS agreement. March 2023 saw the rebranding of SSN, R, to SSN AUKUS following Australia's formal entry into the program. With this, the UK and Australia began co-developing the design, embedding US-developed technologies such as vertical launch systems, propulsion integration, and the N-BYG-1 combat system to ensure compatibility and interoperability among all three navies. The UK plans to build as many as 12 of these submarines, while Australia will construct five at its Osborne shipyard, and also receive up to five Virginia-class submarines from the US to bridge capability gaps. Expected capabilities for the SSN AUKUS include a shrouded propulsor for stealth, optronic masts replacing periscopes, and a versatile payload system with vertical launch tubes for cruise missiles. The submarines are also likely to carry unmanned underwater vehicles, torpedoes, and other modular systems. Sensor arrays will span bow-mounted sonar, flank arrays, and fin-mounted detection tools, allowing for 360-degree awareness in contested waters. The UK's first SSN AUKUS submarine will be laid down at BAE Systems Barrow in Furness facility by the late 2020s, with entry into Royal Navy service anticipated around the late 2030s. Australia aims to launch its first domestic build by the early 2040s. Reactor units, critical to the submarine's operations, will be constructed at the Rolls-Royce site in Derby, which is undergoing significant expansion funded by both UK and Australian investment. Australia alone has pledged £2.4 billion over the next decade. As a reflection of deepening ties, British and American submarine specialists are currently hosting embedded Australian personnel, training them in nuclear submarine production and systems integration. The UK expects the program to create or sustain up to 30,000 jobs, apprenticeships, and graduate positions over the coming decade. High rate production, at a pace of one new submarine every 18 months, is slated to begin in the 2030s after the detailed design and long leads, D2L2, phase concludes around 2028. The UK's 2025 Strategic Defence Review unveiled a significant uptick in defence allocations, aiming to reach 2.6% of GDP by 2027 and potentially 3% in subsequent years. The submarine sector is receiving £6 billion under this plan, part of a broader 5% GDP national security target by 2035. Investments are also flowing into upgrading naval bases such as HMNB Clyde, where £250 million is earmarked for facility expansion to support the SSN AUKUS class. Despite delays with the Astute class, where vessels like HMS Ambush and HMS Artful have suffered prolonged inactivity, the SSN AUKUS design is being tailored to fix past deficiencies. New dry dock facilities under Project Houston aim to improve maintenance schedules and deployment readiness, especially at high-demand bases like Foz Lane and Devonport. The U.S. contribution includes supplying Australia with three Virginia-class submarines in the 2030s, with the option for two more.
These will rotate with British boats under the Submarine Rotational Force, West, operating from HMAS Stirling beginning in 2027. A bilateral agreement signed in 2024 streamlines Royal Navy presence in the Indo-Pacific under this pact. However, industrial strain in the U.S. has prompted a 2025 Pentagon review, amid calls for Canberra to raise its defense spending to 3.5% of GDP to ensure procurement timelines remain intact. Although the final unit count for the UK remains open, early estimates suggest a $40 billion total cost for the SSN AUKUS effort. The project operates in tandem with the ongoing Dreadnought-class SSBN build, both managed under the Defence Nuclear Enterprise umbrella. Australian funding is playing a key role in alleviating pressure on US and UK supply chains by developing sovereign capabilities for manufacturing essential components such as high-strength pressure hulls, advanced electrical systems, and high-performance valves. The SSN AUKUS submarines are expected to support wide-ranging missions, from anti-submarine warfare to surveillance, land attack strike, and deployment of special operations forces. They are designed to operate deep inside denied zones and carry out covert patrols across strategic choke points. The program anchors not just the naval strategy of the UK and Australia but also reinforces US military reach across the Indo-Pacific, forming the bedrock of AUKUS Pillar 1's long-term deterrence architecture.